Oh, there's a recorder. Please wait. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Sigma, why? You, you promised. How could you? Why won't you say something? At least give me an excuse. Say, say you wanted to protect everybody, or you slipped and hit the wrong button. Anything. I don't care if it's a lie. Just, just say something. I, I can't trust you anymore, can I? I see. All right then. You did it so that you could get more points, right? I want to say no, but I couldn't. She was right. I shut my eyes and turned away. I trusted you. <laughs> Goodbye. Luna's face twisted as she spun away, but not before I saw tears glistening in the corners of her eyes. And my heart sank into my stomach like a lump of lead. I had lost something very precious. Like they say, trust takes years to build, but only a second to break. If only I could have taken that second back. That was impossible. Life only moves in one direction, and you can only get to make your choices once. The past is the past, and it stays there. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey! Wait! Clover yelled out to him, but Temioji ignored her and continued toward the magenta door. She glared at his receding back and muttered something under her breath. Something must have happened between them. Tenmyoji, you're going to go look for Quark, right? Yeah, so? I want to help. No thanks. Really? Uh, much as I'd like to say that, I need all the help I can get. Think you can give me a hand? Of course. Let's go. They headed off through the magenta door together. Clover was left standing by herself, brows furrowed and head down deep in thought. Then suddenly she stood up straight and took off through the cyan door. Saw that only Fi and K were left. Where's Dio? He went off toward the yellow door while you and Luna were talking. He just walked out. Yes. He did check the results before he left. But he wasn't very happy. If I had chosen Betray, he'd be sitting pretty with an IVP right now. I imagine he would. Fortunately, Fi is much too clever for that. That was why I chose Ally. It was an easy decision. If you betrayed her, then you'd have been able to get out of here. Perhaps. But I made a promise to Fi. A promise, huh? You really sure Kay wouldn't betray you? Of course not. I'm not an idiot. I didn't really have a choice, though. The only option was to trust him. That's yeah. all. Don't you think that's important? Trusting someone, I mean. All right, we should go and look for Quark, too. Indeed. Best we split up, wouldn't you say? It did say, and each one of us left to our different area of the facility. 
I took the magenta door. If I went to the yellow door, and K took the cyan door. But no matter how hard I looked, Quirk was nowhere to be found. Eventually, I decided to head back to the warehouse. Tamiyoji? What's going on? You, you found Quirk? I'd be here if I hadn't. Where was like he? I'm gonna tell you that. What? Did I do something wrong? You broke your promise to Luna. I don't like people who break promises. There was no rebuttal for that. Well, I'm glad you found him. Ah. Oh, you got some ball saying that. Acting like you give a shit about him. Was he okay? He looks tired. He's just sleeping. Seems somebody shot him up with some kind of anesthetic. Someone? Ooh. Hell if I know. And honestly, I don't really care anymore. Why not? Port's safe. Now, all I have to do is get him out of here. This will all be over. Wait, to make it sound like you can get out right now. He can. Well, he can. How? Don't you see the results? Quark's PP is... Nine. Exactly. So you're, gonna, so you're gonna have him pull the lever and open the number nine door? Yeah. Of course, he's gonna need my help to do that. But what about you? You've only got 4 PP. Even if you can't get the door open, you'll... Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho. Oh. If my PP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough PP open the door. And I'll just slip through when it's open. I don't know that. Doesn't matter though. So long as Quark is safe, then I. My guard was down. I barely even saw him move. It wasn't up until pain exploded in my stomach that I realized that Mioji had kicked me. Oh, God. I let out a strange sort of wheeze and collapsed to the floor. Clinging against the pain, I managed to find Tamiyoji again. He maneuvered Quark up to the number nine door. <laughs> Stop! Tamiyoji! Moving made me wretch, and before I could recover and call out again, he'd done it. Tamiyoji's hand pressed Quark's against the lever. He looked back at me over his shoulder. Tamiyoji, don't! Don't be an idiot! If you go through there, you'll- Believe me, I know. But I gotta stay with him as long as I can. Couldn't live with myself if I just tossed him out there unconscious, you know? Stay here. Can't do that. Why not? There's a killer here. It's too dangerous. I can't take that risk with Quark's life. Tamiyoji! Tamiyoji! The number nine door has closed. 
This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. That was how it ended. Uh, Tomiyoji died at a quirk escape that didn't know. I laid my hand gently against my aching stomach and stared up at the ceiling. Faint approaching footsteps echoed through the warehouse. My rhythm was a killer. Whatever. It didn't matter anymore. I was never going to see the outside world again. Perhaps it would be better if I just let them kill me. I lay back and closed my eyes. <laughs> 